Today's rule of retirement is thinking about Social Security the way Social Security does. And I think this will help you understand the decision that you have, regardless of where you're at in the spectrum between the earliest file date that you can at age 62 or the latest file date that you have, which is your age 70. And so Social Security, in the way that they understand things, and we're assuming in this situation that your full retirement age is 66 and zero months, uh, they call your full retirement age in their terminology the primary insurance amount. So the PIA in the way that they understand it. And so this in the mind of Social Security is when you file on time. So understanding that everything is linked to this 66. So if we make a decision to file early at 62, then you are filing, you know, as they said, early in the way that they view PIA and everything that we have from 62 to 66 is a reduction in the benefit that you have at your full retirement age. So every month that you wait, it is less of a reduction. That's why your check continues to grow between age 62 and 66. Now, if you choose to delay, which is filing after age 66, somewhere between there and 70, you get a addition to the check amount to the tune of about 8% of that PIA amount each year. Uh, you get about a six and two thirds percentage point increase from 62 to 66. And then like we said, an 8% increase from 66 or your full retirement age until age 70. So as we look at this, this helps us understand the way that Social Security views this. Now what we have to do is understand how Social Security is going to fit into the retirement picture that we're painting because if we just look at the numbers here, we could be making some mistakes. What we try to do is combine Social Security into the discussion that we're having with your full retirement picture. Mm -hmm.